Good afternoon, good afternoon guys. I am finished. I am so 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 tired. It's not even funny. Um welcome to my channel. If you are new here, um welcome. You are more than welcome. If it's your first time uh or you're watching from outside, you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing, liking and commenting sharing the channel so that um, other people may be able to see um, the channel and get to enjoy this fun uh, channel so um, yeah once that's out of the way today oh where's my phone it is a Saturday at about 18 minutes past 6 late afternoon um yeah i come from the airport i come from home actually home in in Pochipson where my parents um currently live Ekamalaki. shout out to the game lake Ekamalaki. so um i had we had everything planned out um friday was the last day of school so we decided that we we're gonna take our kids uh home to their grand which is my mom and dad for holiday as we normally do fine so to save costs we decided no we're gonna just uh, book a bus just for the four of us my three kids and myself um, we're gonna take a half past five bus Friday afternoon and then we're gonna get to Port Shipston at uh, quarter to six um, today on Saturday okay that's the way trouble began ne? so i planned my whole trip around that ne? so i was gonna arrive in pochefs in a quarter to six go home to a kamalake drop the kids wash uh go run some errands for my parents and for the kids and then go straight to the shuttle stop shuttle stop uh, the shuttle was gonna pick me up at 20 past 9 a.m. and then I would get it get in I, will, I would get in the airport at about half past 11 guess what and then while well, we were sitting in the bus station afternoon the bus didn't come we get a call and the bus is being delayed so I'm thinking no it's fine so I'm gonna be an hour or two hours late well that's what they told us guess what the bus came at about half past nine p.m. so you can imagine my panic um i booked the flight i booked the shuttle and there's no way my parents are going to drive from airport ships into a uh, uh, Devon. um i think uh plainly because they're very old and i don't expect them to go that far anymore and i don't think they enjoy it um as much as they used to now but okay to drive because it's a about a two two to three hour drive from Pochepston to Elinduzen at Deben. So even when we are going home with the flight or whatever, we always book a shuttle to a, a Pochepton or Margate, whichever one it is. So I had all of that planned and now I'm thinking in the bus, how am I gonna do this? So if we had left EEPE at about half past um half past nine pm it means we're gonna arrive there at about quarter to ten and my shuttle leaves at 20 past nine yes i thought okay let me cancel the bus and then i thought against it let me cancel the flight and book another one for the following day which is a friday oh but shaka shaka in, shaka shaka in, basically but uh, while I was in the bus, I thought, no, man, let me ask the bus driver because clearly I'm going to miss my flight. You, I'm going to miss my shuttle. 
so the next best thing because guy this bus is actually going to durban yeah but i'm gonna ask this driver he must take me to durban if it means i pay for it i will but i'm gonna take my chances because it's their fault that i'm late in the first place let me rather not mention the bus because that's another experience on its own very terrible so fine i asked the bus driver bus driver i'm actually going to durban so because you guys were late i missed my shuttle um to durban so because you guys are going to durban so i might as well when when the bus stops at push and i'm gonna give my kids to my mom and then i'm gonna continue with you guys and then and then he started to no this gonna get us just in trouble what not what not luckily get the people that were in the bus they started to talk no galo the reason why um um she even missed the shuttle is the fact that you guys did not keep your time and what not so she they ended up gave me so i'm thinking now all right okay at least okay, we can be able to i can be able to get to durban but hopefully we can be able to get on time the traffic there was a construction going on i thought to myself i'm gonna miss this flight i'm gonna miss this flight mind you okay, i'm wearing the clothes i was wearing on friday <laughs> i can feel myself have you have you ever felt like that Ingati, when you didn't watch you don't want to talk because you know and i thought okay if i get early enough i'll be able to get into an airport and get into a toilet and quickly freshen up oh boy was i playing i was like Ipar. so eventually we got to durban i quickly got a cab ran to the airport and i was right on time i did not even have time to go to the toilet to change so uh yo i felt so dirty but yeah i was glad that i got a flight back um i did not even want to talk to people because i looked like Ipar. if you know what Ipar, i don't know how can i define Ipar, guys it is um it is abandaba pagayo man people that steal um yeah i looked here you know, i looked very weird but okay uh, so i eventually got home tired hungry and my feet were this big i'm gonna show you now i just put it in this sobe what do you call this thing it's not a massager but it's a foot foot spa whatever and then i'm also just gonna put this foot repair skin republic uh, from discount that's where i buy my stuff and then after that i'm just gonna moisturize with this wisteria this is from justin um this is from justin i'm gonna moisturize and rub with this maybe i should also put the M mco the rubbing stuff i don't know i will see but let me just show you so my feet anyway i'm eating my husband did a steak so i'm eating a a steak what do you call it oh he calls it salon steak so it's medium rare very nice i love my steak like this so i'm eating that i'm just gonna show you is it don't be my feet are so learn so learn so learn so yeah so i arrived home at about four o'clock um so yeah for the whole of december it's just gonna be me and my husband to get son okay my dear it's gonna be fun yeah i'm really grateful yes for my parents especially in this time without fail every december we take our kids to my mom and dad i'm very grateful for them the fact that they are still alive and they still embrace my kids and landerman it, it it gives us as a couple a time to be together because the whole of the year it's always about the kids the school the what the there's always something going on so you know i really appreciate and thank them i don't know how I think I'm going to go back to what they're doing for us. I really appreciate <coughs> Too much paper. I really appreciate it. So, yeah. I'm going to My mom, I got that. You don't leave kids there without someone that's going to help. Understandably so and you don't live there 
it grows as an egg, but get that standard, that's normal procedure. So, yeah, let me just show you my feet. Uh, and guess, I already have big feet, so you can only imagine. Uh, let me put it like this. You can only imagine. So, this is what I'm talking about this obey massage thing. But I don't know if you guys can see here. Here. So what I did was I put salt um, and some bath the sea salt and then I also put some bath salt. This is this is how it goes. Oh. October, see at Kobega, guys. We still continue with the October, but what I will not, I will only um, upload Monday to Friday during the week and not on the weekends. I think I would rather rest in the weekend, but okay, yeah, I, st I am still going to continue with the vlog. Yo, oh, did the October, guys? Vlogmas, vlogmas, vlogmas. I don't know, and I planned that I was gonna buy Ilendoza. Uh, the tree and then decorate with my kids now I don't feel like doing it since they're not here but I know they'd be so excited when they come back and they see that the Christmas tree is in or oh, I must buy it and then wait for them so that you can decorate it I don't know I will see but okay thank okay. you so much guys now we'll put this on thanks what is this it says it's got shea butter ginkgo biloba green tea, peppermint and seaweed intensely moisturizes helping to soothe and soften rough dry feet and heels so let's go in with this one Guys, and see the way you tired in a corner. The way, so yeah, you tear those two. This is for the other one foot, and this is for the other foot. Massive again, guys. Yo, after this, I seriously need to go and sleep. There is no other way. One side done. I'm gonna show you this, guys. Once I've done putting my feet inside the bag, just so to show you what it looks like. There we are. Cabinet. <sighs> Okay, there you are. <laughs> oh, yeah, guys. Okay, there it is. So you put this on. You put this on for about 20 minutes. Yeah, that's it. On the background, I'm actually watching. watching up the creator i'm actually enjoying him yes very smooth proper um content there so
much for watching enjoy enjoy the videos and share please share as much as you can subscribe comment so that people can be able to reach us and also join the family so cheers guys